Welcome to Israel and Nazareth for the European Wheelchair Basketball Championships 2011. My name is Jordan Jarrett Bryan and we're going to be here all week watching Europe's finest battle it out for a place at next year's Paralympics in London. We start our coverage here with favourites Great Britain against the host nation Israel. It's all kicking off now so let's get right into it. This was Britain's fourth match going into the tournament, having beaten Italy and Belgium and losing to Turkey. Britain were heavy favourites against Israel, and at the David R. Khan Sports Hall, they got off to a flyer. Israel had yet to win a match in the tournament, but with the vociferous home support, they were putting up a strong fight against the Brits. World's top three teams, Australia, Canada, and the USA not competing in Israel, Britain were the tournament favorites, and against Israel, always looked in control. Nazareth fought off competition from three other cities in Israel to host the event, and the crowd certainly seemed to fire up the home team. The Bulldogs, who have already qualified for next year's Paralympics in London as hosts, capitalised on Israel's wastefulness and began to extend their lead. Five other teams will qualify from this tournament for London 2012, but Israel's hopes of a maiden win in the European Championships were fading fast. They were doing everything they could to stop Britain, but they often had to resort to fouls. GB were clinical from the free throw line. Bulldog coach Murray Trezeder had to be pleased with his team's performance. Only pride was at stake for the home nation, and there were still a few flashes of inspiration from the Israelis. Fine first half performance by Britain, and at the interval they had a commanding lead. The second half began as the first half ended, with Britain in total control. Britain beat Belgium 84-48 on Saturday. This match wasn't as one-sided, although it was one-way traffic for much of the contest. Disappointment of the home crowd, it was Britain who finished the match strongly. The final score was GB 63, Israel 40.
terms of preparation for the for the Paralympics, how important are these Euros for the team? Oh, just such such good games to play before a parochial crowd like we had there is a, an experience for our younger players. Um, so it's vital and uh, it's a great competition. To be honest, I thought they would have put up a little bit more of a fight. Um, I was expecting a real battle after losing against Turkey yesterday. Um, but we came out strong, we learned from the loss yesterday, we came out, played as a team. Um, we sort of killed it really in the first half, and we, we, we came out strong in the second half, the third quarter, and then the, the game was sort of done and dusted. I think this is probably one of the best competitions, probably next to the Olympics, you know, it's, the teams here are, are so strong, you know, for us to win here, it'd be massively, you know, it gives everybody a boost, and if we win this, then I think London, here we come. So a great win there for GB's men's team. They've now qualified for the quarterfinals. GB women now in action against Israeli team. So let's check it out. Britain's women were also in action on Monday against Israel. Like their male counterparts, GB got off to a great start. The 2012 Paralympic hosts are ranked sixth in the world and against Israel, they raced into a double-digit lead within the first few minutes. The Israeli women were struggling against their far superior opposition, but were determined to give their home fans something to shout about. In the end, Britain ran out comfortable winners 56-28, although coach Gary Peel was not happy with the team's performance. Even though we knew we were always going to get the win, it wasn't a great team performance and the girls have to go and look at that video, see why they, why they weren't performing well. It's really, really important for us that we deliver here as far as our performance goals because that's the next step towards London. Yeah, OK, we've got a place in London, but we'd have a place in London, whatever, because we'd do the job when we got here. Yeah, we're ranked sixth in the world, but a lot of teams are looking at us now thinking we're going to be in that semi-final in London, and that's where we want to be. And then who knows what happens once you get into a semi-final, eh? So a great day there for GB's men's and women's teams, who both look set for a medal. You can follow us all week on www.channel4.com to keep up with the guys' progress. That's all here from Nazareth. We'll see you tomorrow.